Well, hey there, and thanks for dropping by for today's YouTube video. I am Arthur Mars, and for the past 38 years, I've been traveling the world, teaching folks how to make better photographs of birds. I teach you how to get close. I teach you all the tricks of the trade. I teach you how to see and use the light, beautiful backlight here on a Wanico. And I teach you how to work in soft light, especially to get the right exposure. Most people underexpose all day in soft light. Be sure to visit my blog every other day, something to learn, all free. And if at all possible, you want to get down to Florida in October and join us for the second or third DeSoto IPTs. There'll be lots of great opportunities. Buying new gear, make sure to use Bedford's. Use the Birds of Art code at checkout for a 3% discount and free second day air FedEx. Now let's view some great images from the first Fort DeSoto IPT. The images marked with a yellow bar in Photo Mechanic are by Mike DeRosa. The images marked with the green bar are by Anke Freulich. This image marked with yellow was made by Mike DeRosa with the handheld Sony 200 to 600 and the A1. Next is one of mine. I'm also using the 200 to 600. I'm zoomed out to 426. But with the 6.3 aperture rather than f4, I'm at ISO 3200 in the low light. And another one in pretty much the same situation in a spot called Hidden Lagoon. The place was packed with birds. Green bar is Anka's image, a beautiful marble godwit taking off. And Anka loves to hold the 600 millimeter lens, the f4. Working wide open here, no problem at all because the bird is a good distance away. This image made at the entrance to Hidden Lagoon using the beautiful background of dead mangrove roots. Then Anka nailed this one. She had a long series of beautiful images of a pair of willets having a dispute. Another image by Anka, a beautiful juvenile red knot with its wings raised. So by hand holding, she's able to get in position quickly and take advantage of the grab shots of action. Here I'm again using the 200 to 600 and notice the beautiful exposure push to the right. And this is that juvenile red knot. Everybody photographed it, including Mike DeRosa with the yellow bar. I worked with Mike for the whole IPT to get the bird back in the frame with more room above than below. It's just a beautiful juvenile. And in the same spot in the soft light, a sanderling with the nice sea worm. And we can go command click and see the incredible sharpness of the handheld A1 images at a shutter speed relatively slow of a thousandth of a second. Then the sun came out and the birds went into a small pool. And the trick was isolate, isolate, isolate. Because there were so many birds, it was hard to get a single one in the frame. Snow egret, same bird taking off. Incredible A1 sharpness. Beautiful with the nice water drops. And here one with a little fish. Next frame, equally sharp. Juxtaposition of the spoonbill and the great egret with the second bird out of focus. Next, I added the 1.4 teleconverter to the 2 to 600. So this is at 840 millimeters at f11. Wide open is f10, so I stopped down a little bit. Here I wish for a little more depth of field, maybe a little motion blur here. A classic head portrait. So that really makes the 2 to 600 when the sun is out. You don't get killed by ISO 640, 840 millimeter, easily handheld. On the way out of the lagoon, we had a good chance with this backlit reddish egret. And I instructed the group to get zebras and blinkies just on the rim light. Then we had some bathing birds. And boy, I'd be a whole lot better if I could get the bird in the center of the frame. Nonetheless, tracking flexible spot, very sharp. A strutting lesser yellow legs. And Anka got a beautiful wing stretch. Most times when they stretch the near wing, they turn their head away. Super sharp. We can add a little canvas on the right side. Then we had a Caspian turn fishing right in front of us. This is mine with the 200 to 600. And Anka stayed. I went back to the car to get some water. Pretty much gave up for the morning. Anka made this spectacular image of the Caspian turn hitting the water and emerging with a little tiny fish. And yes, yes, the horizon is completely crooked. 
That happens when you're hand holding the 600 F4 for action, five minutes in Photoshop, and we have a beautiful image. So if you can join us at Fort DeSoto, that'll be great. If not, make some great images, get out, take lots of pictures, and have fun. Love you much.